Over the next two days, I also look forward to continuing the G20's work to build a stronger and more resilient global economy. This includes advancing work on debt, climate change, and the evolution of the multilateral development banks. First, we need to work together to ease the debt overhang that is holding back too many countries. The IMF estimates that around 55% of low-income countries are close to or in debt distress. I will continue to push for all bilateral official creditors, including China, to participate in meaningful debt treatments for developing countries and emerging markets in distress. Most urgent is the need to provide debt treatment to Zambia and to commit to specific and credible financing insurance assurances for Sri Lanka. Later this week, I'm also looking forward to robust discussions about the common framework process to help countries like Ghana. I will also be discussing international coordination on debt restructuring for middle-income countries. We have made clear that providing material support to Russia or, assist, or assistance with any type of systemic sanctions evasion would be a very serious concern to us. And we will certainly continue to make clear to the Chinese uh, government and to companies and banks in their jurisdiction uh, about what the rules are regarding our sanctions and the serious consequences they would face for violating them. Um, beyond that, I really don't want to characterize um, U.S. intelligence with respect to um, sanctions violations.